So this question is a diagram question. Truly, any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So what do I do when I see visual input provided in the question? Well, especially if it's a graph, right? So we have specifically a graph here. I'm going to look at the axes. So my x axis is time. My y axis is distance traveled. And notice that the x here is actually labeled as an m axis. So my I'm going to call it my horizontal axis is m and my vertical axis is d instead of y. So the last thing when it comes to graph questions, I like to, and really, really um, even table questions as well. So graphs and tables. I like to use this strategy called the pinpoint method. Okay. And again, when you get used to doing this, it all happens very quickly. It does not take a lot of time. So it's like, hey, I noticed my x-axis is time. I noticed my y-axis is feet. Now I'm going to do this pinpoint method where I find a good point on the graph. Let's say this one. And that point is telling me that uh, if you have three minutes, right? So if m is equal to three, then d is equal to six, right? So three at three minutes, we have a distance traveled of six feet. So that's, that's the information that I gather from using the pinpoint method. Then I go to my question. The graph above shows the distance traveled D in feet by a product on a conveyor belt M minutes after the product is placed on the belt, right? So we pretty much already knew all of that. Um, maybe not the conveyor belt part, but we knew the D was distance traveled. We knew that M was minutes. So we have the question, which actually starts off here, which is which of the following equations correctly relates D and M. Well, this is what I love to see because I've already found a relationship between D and M. That's what the pinpoint method did for me in this case. So this is telling me that when M is three, D must be six. That's what the graph told me. So that means that the answer that's correct, right? The answer that is correct here must also give me that same when m is 3, d is equal to 6 relationship. So when we try answer choice A, and I have d equals 2 m, if I just plug in, well, I know that when d is 6, I better have an m that's equal to 3. And this is true. 6 does, in fact, equal 2 times 3. So I like A. Um, if I were to try B, I'd have d equals 1 half m. And then I just try that, right? So replace d with 6 replace M with three, and I see that that is not equal. So B cannot be the right answer. And if you tried C, you'd see the same thing there, that C also does not work out. Six is not equal to five, and D also does not work out. Um, six is not equal to eight. So the only answer choice that is correct or that works here is choice A, and that is the correct answer.